Hey guys, welcome back to the Don't Starve Mod Spotlight. Today I'm taking a look at a new character mod from Thundervolts, and the character we're looking at today is... BAM! Weston the Wandering Cactus. Doesn't that art look beautiful? Look at that, I mean like, a spider with, with spiny thorns in his, in, his, in his tongue. I think it looks amazing. I love him already. He's got to look sharp. So, Weston the Wandering Cactus is covered in sharp spines, he loves the hot weather, and he has a, a flower on his head that attracts bugs. And he sounds just amazing, and I'm really excited to check him out, so I'm going to show off Weston in Reign of Giants. Alright, bam, Weston. He looks so good. I love him. He looks amazing. <laughs> okay, Weston. So, 150 hunger, 150 health, and 200 sanity. Look at him running around there. He is amazing. I love him. So, I think one of the coolest perks of Weston is he is completely immune to overheating. So he can just he can he can run around in summer just like normal. Of course, there there is a downside to this. Uh, he may like the heat, but he does not like fire. So if he does get put on fire, then he will take three times the normal damage. Uh, so it's pretty brutal. And uh, since he does enjoy himself in the summer, he does not like the cold either. So winters are very difficult to him. And uh, another pro is that he's you can see he's covered in those sharp spines there little spikes. So if you were to fight a spider, let's say, this spider here. Come on, spider. So we took damage, but the spider also took uh, 15 damage from that. He did 20, though. Um, but because we also have quite sharp, spiny fists, our unarmed are also quite painful to them. Wow, you saw that. Uh, amazing. Much stronger than normal, apparently. You also saw a bit of text up there. He's got uh, full custom lines. He does work in not Reign of Giants, but his uh, his sound files. Oh, the desert, the tumbleweed sound files. Um, yeah, those sound files are only available in Reign of Giants. So you can play him in the normal game, but he won't uh, make a sound when he talks. Oops, no, I wanted you to examine. Uh, examine, there we go. Just some grass. A dark bird. And uh, I mentioned this earlier, the little flower on his head, if he moves over here, this butterfly should move over to him. Or, uh, or butterflies and bees um, will sort of flock to him. So if we, hmm, if we can find like a, a bee field. All right, we've got some bees here. Um, if, oh, look, a tumbleweed. What do you have to say about that? Feels good to see these again. Bam. Oh yeah, stuff. Uh, he's also got a custom minimap icon, something that most of you know I love to see in custom characters. So if we go to daytime, bees are probably going to start buzzing out. Come to me, bees. Bees. Oh look, a vault coat. Hello, bee. Hello, bees. All of you flock to me. Here we go. Ow. <laughs> right, I forgot they're angry. <laughs> it's quite rude, isn't he? I wonder if we can kill a bee. Come on, try and fight me. Kill yourself. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill him. Let's just punch him. Oh no! <laughs> so like most of Thunderbolts' mods, um, there's three little tips at the bottom for when playing with your character, or we're playing with Weston. So the first bit of advice- my god, this bee is still following me. Uh, first bit of advice is to stockpile. So he can prepare really well for the winter because he won't be fucked in the summer pretty much. He won't overheat in the summer so he can go out however much he wants. You can just treat it like a normal season. So uh, the idea is to stockpile for three seasons and then do your best to survive winter which will be quite difficult for him. Uh, the second bit of advice is to hunt butterflies. So butterflies will swarm near you and then you can catch them. My god this bee. <laughs> Yeah, so the butterflies will be near you, and you can catch them, or you can kill them for their butterfly wings to eat. And then the last bit of advice is to avoid killer bees. Um, because of the flower on his head, they have a, a bigger radius, attraction radius now, so they will swarm after him probably for longer, which is why this bee was following us, and uh, they'll get closer to you. So uh, they can mess you up pretty easily. And that is Weston the Wandering Cactus. Another great mod from Thunderbolts. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!
Thank you guys for watching I'm Starve. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these mods. If you want to, you can click subscribe, and if you'd like, I guess you can hit like too. This has been a Jarda production. There's lots of other bits on the channel. If you click subscribe, I'll love you, and really, isn't that what everyone wants? I mean, you, you just want us to love you, right? Now we, we want you to love us, which would be fantastic. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't liked this video, so he doesn't like Don't Star Fright. Thank you for watching.